Okay, students. This is our today's task: Python coding. Write a Python program to reverse a string. Okay. So, question number one. So you will write in comments tags, and this number sign is used for comments. In comments, you can write anything. You know, this is for the user, for the programmer, to. Uh, understand the program for in future so question is write a program to reverse the string okay now what is string you know last time also we discussed string is is collection of letters when you enter like islamia so when you will type this a number of letter this is a string like muhammad okay any name combination of text numbers is known as string so when you will enter a collection of letters so this is a string so now what is the logic logic of our program is first we need to input string so how we input a string you know you take one variable str1 okay is equal to input bracket start in quotations enter the string okay so this statement is used to uh, get in uh, string from through keyboard from the users okay boys this you know right we have done this before now we want to print this string whatever the string you want to uh, you got it or you uh, through keyboard so we want to print it this is known as the original string so the original string is in which variable we are storing str1 see we will check it so islamia see it will print islamia now the question is in reverse order okay so previous class we started but due to you know electricity we didn't Uh, we were unable to complete the lesson so to reverse the string print the string in reverse order is reversed order is comma string is in this variable str1 so we will use variable str1 square brackets two time colon minus 1 whatever in the string in this it will reverse it automatically it will reverse it automatically in print here we enter islamia it will print islamia here but here it will print reverse of islamia from here from the last letter to the first letter okay so we will run this see islamia now see up reverse a i m a l s i islamia reverse okay so this command is used to convert a list in reverse order or we can use another method also we can store second variable string 2 or you can say reversed take one variable reversed is equal to str1 colon colon minus 1 this command will take the reverse of the very uh, string 1 and store in reversed and now use here reversed so now we are printing indirect reversed okay so reverse of string uh, here 
एस टी आर वन एस टी आर वन स्टोर एंड रिवर्स्ड एंड यूज द रिवर्स वेरिएबल हेयर इट विल प्रिंट द स्ट्रिंग हेयर सो वी विल रन इट अगेन इस्लामिया सी सो नाउ यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स so it will print like this emirates arab united okay boys clear yes sir okay so please practice this you have 2 minutes we'll move to the next question are you please uh, if any question just stop me and raise hand and uh, just give me a call stop me and i will explain again try to understand so question number 2 write a program to check if a string is a palindrome or not hurry up please check this and say yes the logic is clear we will start this program yes sir logic is clear clear okay good hussain yes hussain I'm sorry. Hussain, it's okay. Yes, sir. Okay, you raised hand. That's why I ask you now. So, if it is okay, you, if any issue, tell me. We then we will move forward. Okay. Okay, good. So it means Hussain is okay. So Alhamdulillah, good. So now next. write a program to check if a string is palindrome or not now see we will know we want we will try to know what is palindrome what is palindrome okay so in english for example some words if we change if we reverse it they remains the same no change in that for example mom so if you reverse the string it will see, it will remain same like uh madam it will remain same like radar will remain same and other word is race car race car wow right other word dad sir dad yes dad. good dad okay like this so this is a palindrome so same logic is same we will input the string and we will reverse it then we will choose using if statement we will compare if str1 is equal to reversed then it is a palindrome otherwise or else it is not a palindrome right clear logic is clear see first so please write the comments always first we need a string we need a string okay like str1 is equal to input bracket start enter the string so like previous question this one enter the string now second step is what we will do we will reverse it we will reverse it how we will reverse it take variable str2 is equal to str1 <coughs> uh, colon colon minus 1 see so we will take the reverse of str1 and store in variable 2 str2 okay now what we will do we will compare these two strings if equal if equal then 
पलेंद्रोम अदरवाइज नॉट सो यूजिंग इफ स्टेटमेंट हाउ विल कंपेयर इफ एस टी आर वन फॉर इक्वल वी विल यूज डबल इक्वल साइन एंड पाइथान फॉर इक्वेलिटी डबल इक्वल ओके एंड दिस इज दिस दिस इक्वल वन मिनट दिस इक्वल इज यूज टू असाइन अ वैल्यू दिस विल टेक द रिवर्स ऑफ स्ट्रिंग वन एंड स्टोर इन एस टी आर टू लाइक यू नो लाइक इन मैथ एक्स वी रीड इट एक्स इक्वल टू बट इट एक्चुअली इज नॉट इक्वल इट इज असाइनमेंट स्टेटमेंट मीन असाइन अ वैल्यू टू टू एक्स लाइक दिस बट इन जनरल वी से एक्स इक्वल टू सो सेम एस टी आर वन इक्वल इक्वल एस टी आर टू यस टेल मी प्लीज नाउ Sir Hussain Abdullah, he is saying to add me in the class. Hussain Abdullah, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Which grade, Hussain Abdullah? Uh, eight, eight F. Hussain. Ali Hussain. No, Hussain Abdullah. He is in grade eight. Hussain Abdullah. Hussain Abdullah. This one. Yeah. Okay, added. <coughs> okay, yes, sir. Okay. okay, okay, boys. So, str one equal input. Read the string. Now we will reverse it. so this is reverse we are doing the reverse and storing an str2 now what we will do we will compare the strings the string str1 equal equal str2 if it is equal so what we will do print yes it is simple and this is an indent indentation so this is the syntax in python you know uh, proper placement of the instructions when you press enter it comes here so use the statement and now enter c so for else you will go back click uh, backspace key and write here see its color matching when color changes then it means some problem so indentation very important see now it will come here so else print no okay it's not or simple it's not palindrome okay so we will run the program see mom yes it is a uh, teacher no no not right and dad yes Okay so please try it out you have 2 minutes if still any issue tell me i will explain again i am writing the third program now so you practice this one please hurry up <coughs> It's okay. Boys, I'm going, sir. Okay, okay, okay. I am waiting for your reply. When you will say okay, then we will move next. Okay, hurry up, please. <coughs> <coughs> uh, sir, can I take the program for one second? 
क्लियर यस सम मिस्टेक इज कमिंग यस हुसैन ओके any any issue sir no sir how we will know that it is equal or not see na see and we will not know na see we are reading we are reading as system will know system will check just we will give the instruction see str1 we will get the string from the keyboard like islamia now this str1 will take the reverse of the this str1 string this command will take the reverse and store in str2 now we are checking if str1 is equal to str2 if yes then print oh yes it is palindrome otherwise not because what is palindrome if you reverse the string and if it is same so it mean it is a palindrome otherwise it is not so first we will read the string and then we will take the reverse of this string this command will reverse and store in str2 now we are checking the equality that these strings are to we will not you know manually do system will do it will check that both strings after reverse are equal or not if equal then it will come here otherwise it will go there we use the commands and compiler you know every language has its translator that translator will check the commands and here we are checking if str1 is equal to str2 str2 is the reverse string and str1 is the original string what you entered through keyboard so if it is same so it mean it is a palindrome yes it is otherwise no clear 
Yes, sir. Okay. So now program question number three. Okay. So see. Write a Python program to check the letter entered by the user is vowel or not. So see, these are all comments. What we uh, write after hash sign? These are comments for us, not for the computer or for the translator. So translator ignore. This is for us. So what are vowels? You know vowels are a, e, i, o. O U and capital also A E I O U. These are the vowels. So the letter you will enter using this statement input. Then we will check from the list. If it is there, so it means it is a vowel. If it is not in the list, then it will be not a vowel. Okay. So now. uh first we need a list of vowels okay these are all comments so what we do now take one variable vowels is equal to a e i o u and capital a e i o u so this is the list we will check in this list variable okay now second step what we will do get input from the user get input <coughs> get input to my throat is <coughs> get input from the user okay hasan uh, hussain tell me how we get input from the user which command we give So the same command you gave in. Okay. Not same. You can say we use input command. Okay, input. Okay. So take one variable, C H R string, C S T R one. R we will enter one letter. So just type C H character is equal to input bracket start quotation close. Enter the letter from the keyboard. See, so we will type a letter. It will go there in ch. Now what we will do? We will compare. Uh, we will search the letter in. Vowels list. See, we have declared vowels list here. So, if it is there, we can say yes, it is a vowel. Otherwise, it is not. So, how to check this using if statement? If ch, the letter you will enter, it will come here in ch. Okay. If ch in vowels. Okay. Now print yes, it is vowels. If it fails, it will go in else part. Mean if ch is not in vowels, then print no, it is not. No, it is not a vowel. Okay, so these red colors are comments for us, so that when you read the program again, we must know what we are doing. So always write comments in program; it will help us in future. Okay, so vowels, list of vowels. We are getting a letter through keyboard, and now we are checking this letter in vowels. If it is there, then it is vowel. Otherwise, it is not. Very simple. So we will check this. Now we are entering, for example, H. See, it is not a vowel because C H is not in vowels list. 
on it again capital A yes it is vowels because CH in vowels yes it is there so capital and small you can check both yes it is vowel ok hurry up please try it <coughs> sir we can also use str instead of ch for knowing that it's not yes uh, yes variable no limit you can use any variable see str1 see when there is a blue color so don't use blue color because if you will use str it is a reserve word blue color reserve words are there which are used by the python ok see n is blue color braces is blue color so these don't use this so change the mean uh, letter by adding something extra so str1 now see I am using this now str if str1 in vowels bus ok see we will check this so a yes it is ok so take the uh, variable meaningful so that uh, related to the program uh, rel uh, related to the purpose for example if you are reading the letter so you can take one variable letter or character like this if you are reading the string then take uh, user string string one string true but when you see it is its color is uh, blue so add some let uh, uh, some numbers or characters to uh, modify it ok hurry up please check this and we will move to the next program Question number four. Write a Python program to count the vowels in a string. Now, this question is modified form of this. Here we are just checking that it is vowel or not but here we are counting if you will enter a string mean more letter not one letter when it comes string so it mean number of letters so like Islamia like name like country name any word you can enter that is a string so from that string we will check which letters are vowels or not ok so first check this then uh, make a logic on this and we will complete this program so if any issue stop me so that we can proceed with clear uh, you know logic first we need a list of vowels like same as before Now, we will get a string. Sir? Hello? Sir, can you add some Sajjad? Wait, yaar. who is Mr. Sajjad? Uh, Shams, Shams Sajjad. Shams Sajjad is there, na? No, uh, he can't see the meeting. He left. No, Shams Izzaj is there in the meeting. Ahmad Farhan, see, it is, he is there. Question and programs, you send it, it is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Okay, added. Huh. Yes, dear, what is? 
Sir, the questions you send it Python coding it's one two three five six. Ah, uh, that is a type of uh, series. Uh, okay, no problem. But we are adding more questions here. All right. So yes, sir. Uh, okay, no problem. Say this was the first program. Question. So I did all three and send it. Uh, okay, good. So question one, question two, question three, and question four. Here we will do seven, eight question to modi modi modify modify form also. We can uh, do. We will do it. Okay. So I am uh, doing this questions. Write a Python program to count vowels in a string. First we need a list of vowels. Vowel is equal to this. You know, upper case and lower case. We'll make a list of vowels. Now what we'll do? We will get a string from the user. How we'll read a string? Which command we use to get a string from the user from the keyboard? Anybody, please? Boys, how we will read a string through keyboard? Nobody. Huh? Nobody knows how to get the string through keyboard. Who is this, Muhammad? Muhammad Ali? Yes, so this is me. How to get a string through keyboard? Input statement. Yes, input statement. Take one variable str1 and equals input uh, quote enter the string. See, we will read the string. Now, see the question is count. So, we will take one variable count. So, initially, when you want to add some values, so count should be 0 first time. Now, again we will use for loop in this so how you will use for loop for take one variable ch in here str1 okay because you are entering a string here we will run a for loop so in str1 colon now we will check if ch same ch we will use in this list vowels this is a for loop we will run the for loop mean how, how many characters are there in the string so it will run for loop for example you have uh, entered five letters in a string so it will run five time if you have entered 15 letters in a string it will run 15 time then every time it will check letter in vowels so if first letter for example okay here we i will enter this islamia so first letter ch2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so ch in uh, uh, string 1 okay so means 7 it will run seven time now first letter is i i in vowels it will check if true then see we have declared count is equal to zero so count is equal to count plus one add one in count bus if it is in vowel add one to count otherwise leave it okay then it will go back check other second letter s s in vowels no L, L in vowels, no. A, A in vowels, yes. Add one to count. Then M in vowels, no. I in vowels, yes. A in vowels, yes. So it will add each time one in count. Now come back under this for loop and then print the number of uh, vowels in a string or
count so in the end it will print count variable uh, here no quotations Uh, C O U N T count is equal to zero. Count is equal to count. Here quotations. Okay, that was the mistake. So message should be in quoted quotes, comma count. So every time it will check the letter in vowel. If it is there, add one to count. Now see. Islamia. Okay, why a like this? So how many vowels are there in Islamia? One, two, three, four. See, so number of vowels in a string are four. If you want to print the original string also, you can do like this quotation. str one and here should be comma and here comma and quotation again c and you can put the colon also so this message this also part of message and in between value of str1 will come and it will show the count how many alphabets are there so run so we will type again islamia see the number of vowels in a string islamia are four so that you can check so we will run again and you will type even you gave capital also so no issue like this and united are 3 1 2 and 3 okay hurry up please complete this and we will move to the next program if any confusion raise hand so no shyness please don't hesitate if you will shy if you will hesitate you will waste your time yes hamid khan any issue Uh, sir, why have written uh, in this code for ch? Sir, why is it in the ch? See, we are entering the letter Islamia, right? Yes. We will give the string here when this statement will run. So we will enter Islamia. Now, for each character, we want to run a loop. So till which? How many time loop will work? See how many in Islamia. In str one, how many letters are there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it will run in string one by one till seven time. Mean what is the length of the Islamia? So it will take if ch first letter it will check in string one by one. So it will run the loop till seven uh, last letter a is there. now if you type for example islamia english school so now it will check each letter one by one till the last letter you know for loop see we for in uh you can say you know 10 so when you are numbering a letter or make it more simple you know we give range in for loop 1 to 10 so it will run 1 to 9 because when range is there one less than 10 so we give the last value to the for loop how many times it will so it will check each letter in the given string so string is here str1 so we will use as a last you know uh final range of the loop str1 sorry not tsr str1 so each time it will execute this statement as per the str letters 
if two letters are there it will check two time if four letters are there here it will run four time if 15 letters are there in str1 like islamia english school see i think 20 more than 20 letters are here so it will check each letter one by one and count if it is true if this statement is true it will add one to count clear yes, sir. okay next please okay i think clear now huh now i am giving you just modify this program question 5 write a python program to count the vowels in us to count the vowels and the consonant you are english students so what are consonant in a given string sir non vowel letters well done non vowel letters now this is modified form of this okay the same only you use two things now see vowels and consonant so you will use two counter here just take counter one i am giving you idea and you complete it then tell me and then take count two is equal to zero initialization because when you add a value in a variable it must be initialized zero now if ch and string y other is same add one if it is in vowels add one and count one okay if not mean else add count add one to count two like this now go back and print the number of consonant in the string str1 or count 2 because count 2 is here if it is not vowel add 1 and count 2 if it is vowel add 1 to count so c and we will change the variable count 1 here so count 1 0 count 2 0 all other is same you will read a string and check in vowels if it is there add 1 to count else add 1 to count 2 so simple is there but uh, we will run it and check see islamia english school abu dhabi you can enter see the consonant in the string islamia english school abu dhabi are 20 and the number of vowels in a string islamia english school are abu dhabi are 12 okay please so check this it is the same logic only we have used two counts so uh, i will share the programs for grade 8 and test will be conducted from these basic programs a list of program i will give previous for loop and while loop and this strings also and uh, this time very simple program we will give but uh, now we have decided to uh, include python in the curriculum so next time and third time third term there will be too many programs and marks will be increased 20% marks will be for the practical for the project based learning ok, okay sir. yes so we are uh, modif modifying the curriculum so inshallah you will see 30% theory I mean uh, 50 marks paper will convert into 30 and uh, 20 marks for the practical 
like programming java c++ graphics and scratch all practical will be there and assignments will be given and students will give presentations and uh, uh, group assignment will be there so next term inshallah more practical will be there those who will you know take it serious they will enjoy but those who will not take it serious they will be the loser okay so be ready for the th in the third term inshallah so we will more <coughs> things are coming okay please try this program and tell me it's okay or not so one more program we will do for today okay so and this program i have modified here the same program i have modified here okay now the program number 6 is right this is the last program write a python program to remove the duplicate letters from the string like hello so it will print what like this okay so logic is first we will read a string first we need a string like islamia so how we will read str1 is equal to input enter the string okay so for this purpose to check it mean the letter is there or not so we just from our own side we will suppose that string is empty so we will just takes str2 is equal to like this you know empty quotes empty quotes mean empty string nothing inside okay now we will check for this for this string only okay so again same as ab uh, above program for ch n and uh, you know how many time it will run str1 and now each letter we will check if this ch uh, ch variable ch not in str2 so if it is, see so this is the original string we will read through keyboard and this is our supposition that suppose string 2 is empty now when we will run the loop as per the string 1 mean how many letters are there in the string 1 1 by 1 so one letter is coming here so now each letter we will check that the first letter of islamia i is in string 2 not in str2 now tell me first time when we will check if ch not in str2 mean first letter of i is not in str2 true or false boys p is equal to <laughs> sorry false right Yes. 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 If uh, no, if ch not in str two, first letter from the string i is not in str two. Then true. It is true. Not in str two. True. In str two, nothing. Sir, if string, sir, if string is not in str, 
true, then it will be true, and if its string is str in str two, it will be false. Yes. So I mean first letter ch not in str two first time. No. Yes, it is not there. So when it is not there, we are adding uh, in str two. str two is equal to str two plus ch. So we will add the same letter in str two. Okay. Bus. This will work till the last str last letter of str two. Now see. Okay. Now see. Second letter is s. When s will come, s will come here. S s and not in str two. Yes. So it will add i s all after i s also it will come. Because when there is a letter, when you plus sign it, combine it. So i s will be in str two. Next L is there. L not in STR two. Yes. So first came I, then came S, then came L, then will come A, then will come M. A then M. Now M. when I will come, I not in STR two. No, it is there. So it will omit it. It will not combine the letter here. Now last A will come. A not in STR two. No, it is there. A is there already, so it will ignore it, and it will print. It will finish, and in the end, we will print the list uh, string. The string uh, without duplicate letters. Yes, without duplicate. Letters uh, is this str two comma str two. Okay, so we will check it. See, Islamia. Any anything you can type. For example, Islam. Okay, we type like this. So which letter will come one time? S, right? Yes, sir. It will remove the third letter because it won't. It will ignore it. Oh, we have initialized this. You know, this uh, this I explained to you know as a just for your explanation. But str first time should be empty. Okay, now we'll run it again. Okay, isam. See, isam will come. Run it again. Islamia, Islam will come. Islamia, okay. Run it again. United, anything? Okay, we will do like this. United. See, United. Okay. Okay, boys. Any issue? Yes, sir. Clear? No, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Okay. Okay. Good. So please practice this. Spare some time. Uh, daily ten fifteen minutes. When you uh, you know in front of the computer when you finish your school work, then give time to programming instead of playing games and uh, social media, watching social media. So do some constructive work. So inshallah you will be good. Now we are including next inshallah. Now, very comprehensive syllabus is coming. Programming, algorithms, you know, more practical work will be there. So those who will have a good logic, they will enjoy. Okay. So advance, I am telling you. So prepare yourself.